Capital CCTV camera number 3173 was the most important camera covering the DNC pipe bomb story event. You've probably already seen Thomas Massey's release of the video in which it appears that a Capitol Police plainclothes officer has discovered the bomb and has alerted the Secret Service and the Metro Police officers that were on the scene. You've probably also already seen the bomb-sniffing dog, and you may have already also seen the arrival of then-Vice President-elect Kamala Harris's motorcade. What you haven't seen is, well, what somebody in the Capitol Police Command Center didn't want us to see. And that's the actual investigation of the bomb scene. What we're going to show you now is how they hid that from us. What we were able to access from the Capitol CCTV viewing room is how long that camera, number 3173, had remained in that fixed position. We were able to go back as far as December 28th of 2020, just eight days or so before the events of January 6th. And from that review, we could see that the camera's positioning was in that fixed position for days, weeks, months. But ultimately, it was only just these very few minutes after the bomb's discovery that that camera began to move. The camera then began to move, pan, zoom in, looking for the bomb itself. The one thing that we know for sure is that camera 3173 was the most crucial of all the cameras. It had the closest and the clearest view of what law enforcement's response, what their investigation, and ultimately the destruction and detonation or the attempted detonation of the bomb would be by the bomb squad robot. But inexplicably, and I'm getting tired of using that word every single time we do one of these investigations, but that seems to be the key word when it's related to January 6, is that at approximately 1.40 p.m., camera number 3173 was remotely directed away from the scene at about a 90 degree angle, and then it remained in this newly fixed position away from the investigation for the rest of the day, or at least until midnight on January 6th. Now, it might be assumed that this was an error, an accident, an oversight. Maybe somebody bumped the joystick on camera number 3173 until we then review camera number 8020. As we are seeing the robot deployed down the street, headed towards the bomb, someone again directs camera 8020 away from the investigation scene and then affixes it once again, it seems like at a hard right 90 degree angle away from the investigation once again. Why would they turn those cameras away from the investigative scene? Who? ordered those cameras to be turned away. What were we not allowed to see? Stay tuned to Blaze Media for those answers.